The SpaceX CEO has a long-standing vision of establishing a city on the Red Planet. It would be self-sustaining, home to one million people, and transform humanity into a multi-planetary species. This ambitious goal could keep him occupied for the next three decades. And towering nearly 120 meters tall, or at 400 feet, SpaceX's new gen rocket Starship is designed to take humans to the moon, Mars, and beyond. How many times have you heard that before? The vehicle consists of a giant spaceship on top of a large booster known as Super Heavy. Both can land back on Earth so they can be reused, reducing costs. SpaceX will use 33 Raptor 2 engines to power the Super Heavy booster, while another six will power the upper stage. The entire vehicle will be capable of lifting 100 metric tons, or 220,000 pounds of cargo and people into space on regular low-cost missions. The volume of usable space within Starship is a whopping 1,000 cubic meters, which is big enough to fit the entire Eiffel Tower. Disassembled, of course, and that's got scientists interested. But they'll be even more excited to hear that SpaceX will have a new Starship version. SpaceX's CEO Elon Musk says that future Starships, or at least certain Starship variants, are being upgraded with 50% more Raptor engines and stretched propellant tanks. Which sounds awesome, to be honest. And the CEO revealed the plans by a tweet stating that Starship was begging for an extra three engines. Musk was likely referring to the fact that a nine-engine Starship combined with a 33-engine Super Heavy booster would create a rocket with 42 engines, a number made famous as The answer to life, the universe, everything in Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, both of which the CEO vocally enjoys. It's thus almost impossible to tell jokes from serious consequential plans, as is the case with Starship. Nevertheless, origination aside, adding another three Raptor engines to Starship, boosting the count from six to nine, and stretching its tanks could be a substantial upgrade. According to amateur modelers, who are generally able to estimate rocket performance with enough information about its structures, shape, and engines, an optimal 9-engine Starship's tanks would be stretched about 25% to store an additional 300 tons, or 650,000 pounds, of cryogenic liquid oxygen and methane. That upgraded Starship would have a liftoff mass close to 1,600 tons, or 3.5 million pounds, and stand about 55 meters, or 180 feet tall, which is 10% taller than current upper stage prototypes. At stage separation, close to vacuum, a stretched Starship with three C-level optimized Raptors, or RCs, and six vacuum optimized Raptors, our VAX should produce at least 2,000 tons or 4.4 million pound force of thrust, and possibly more than 2,250 tons or around 50 million pound force depending on engine performance. At that upper level of thrust, Starship and upper stage would be just 10% less powerful than the first stage of Falcon Heavy, the most powerful operational rocket in the world. Regardless of its thrust, dimensions, or weight, what matters most is how a stretched, nine-engine Starship would impact the rocket's overall launch performance. If unofficial modelers are to be believed, the results are significant. Compared to a normal Starship with a six-engine upper stage and 33-engine booster, the stretched ship could theoretically boost the amount of payload the rocket can launch to low Earth orbit from about 150 tons to 220 tons or more. That's 330,000 to 485,000 for our American viewers, which is almost a 50% improvement. In fact, Per another comment from Musk indicating that Starship, unlike almost all other rockets, won't temporarily throttle down on ascent, the total payload performance could be a bit less than 230 tons, or around 500,000 pounds, which is more than 50% greater than a shorter six-engine Starship. Now, if those estimates are accurate, upgrading Starship with nine Raptors and stretching its tanks is a no-brainer. 
It might slow development and make all 9 engine ships cost a substantial fraction more, but a 50% improvement in payload performance would significantly improve the efficiency of Starship's more ambitious Moon and Mars launch profiles, which require numerous orbital refuelings. In effect, a 50% payload increase would allow SpaceX to complete most refueling tasks more efficiently, quickly, and cheaply. Even if the upgrade plans mean that all Starships will be stretched out and carry nine Raptors, fully refueling the new Starship variant in LEO could require seven tanker launches instead of eight to ten. If SpaceX doesn't mind maintaining multiple distinct Starship variants, which appears to be the case, then ships that are exclusively dependent on refueling, which includes the Moon and Mars landers in particular, could stay at their current size, with around 1,200 tons or around 2.6 million pounds of propellant storage and six Raptors. A fleet of upgraded Starships could thus refuel their smaller siblings with just five tanker launches. Musk spoke of a Herculean Battlestar Galactica-like effort to transport thousands of colonists to Mars with a thousand SpaceX Starship launches. His vision remains aligned with a series of tweets from 2020 in which he articulated a plan to build 100 Starships each year over a 10-year period. Departing in batches, each Starship would leave for Mars during key 30-day windows that open once every 26 months. The launch interval is to take advantage of the Earth-Mars alignments when the two planets are closest to one another. Should launches begin in 2028, well, Musk revealed on Twitter that he now sees 2029 as the earliest date humans might make the first step on Mars, and assuming this intense launch cadence can be realized, Musk figures the Martian city of his dreams, with a population of colonists one million strong, could come to fruition in just 22 years. For Musk, the lofty figure of one million isn't just a goal or a prediction. It's a necessary requirement for sustaining a colony on Mars. The critical threshold is if the ships from Earth stop coming for any reason, which could decide the fate of the Martian colony and ultimately of humanity itself. Musk is claiming a philanthropic motive, saying our inability to colonize Mars and transition to an interplanetary species could serve as a filter that ultimately results in our doom. Back in 2019, he estimated that it would take around 1 million tons of cargo to build a self-sustaining city on Mars. The current Starship can transport about 100 tons at once. That would take about 10,000 trips to meet his target. But with the new Starship prototype, Musk can reduce the significant number of trips required even by half. However, there is a good chance that the extra mass required to stretch Starship by about 5.5 meters is minor enough that SpaceX will instead stretch all Starship variants. In fact, for variants like NASA's HLS Moon Lander and future Mars-bound Starships, which depend entirely on refueling to reach their destinations, stretched tanks and more propellant storage could increase the amount of payload they could send to the Moon, Mars, and other high-energy destinations by quite a bit. Ultimately, it will be fascinating to hear more details from SpaceX and Musk on how exactly the upgraded Starship design might benefit those operations in the coming weeks and months. Thank you so much for watching, and if you enjoy what my team and I are doing, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Otherwise, as always, this is Kevin with Great SpaceX, and my team and I will see you next time.